Hi Virgo, welcome to your December reading. We're going to be taking a look to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of December. See what you guys could be currently dealing with, what you can expect. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance overall. See what's going on for you guys for the month coming up. If you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram at jadestonetaro. I also have a TikTok too, jadestonetarot. That is my username on like all platforms that I have. Alright, so let's get into this for Virgo. Summarizing Venus in December 2021. Jack doesn't want to shuffle. Let's get right into it. Messages for Virgo. Summarizing Venus. Okay, we got two flyers out so far. We got temperance coming out. Sagittarius energy coming through. I find clarity through calm. I love that energy. We also have the Five of Cups. Some of you are really going through an emotional time and you're trying your best to remain peaceful, calm, cool, collected, grounded, but yet you are still going through some emotions. Okay, that's a stack. I'm not going to take that. If they're meant to, they will come out again. But definitely feels like more of an emotional time for you. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you might be experiencing a lot of anxiety or you're over in your head. It's like you're thinking your emotions when you're not allowing yourself to feel your emotions, right? There is a little bit of that energy, or at least that's what I'm picking up on right here, right now. We also have the Nine of Wands, and so there's a bit of defensive energy when it comes to you guys feeling more sensitive. You're very protective over yourselves, and some of you are like you know the fear of vulnerability the fear of like showing people that you're hurt like you would rather not you would rather like die or like dig yourself in a deep hole than be seen that you're wounded or hurt by anybody so it's like you're locking yourself in your room i almost feel like you know hermit mode energies that you guys are in like no one can interrupt you no one can get a hold of you you know maybe your phone's on do not disturb like you're trying to get through some sort of like heaviness some of you maybe gone through a breakup i just felt that energy you know, let's see what else needs to come out for Virgo, summarizing Venus in December 2021. We have the Hierophant, so some sort of relationship or some sort of commitments being brought, um, brought up here. Or something about a commitment that has you upset. Um, you know, we literally had death try to come out and same with the Wheel of Fortune. So some of you had an ending in a relationship or some sort of like long-term commitment. Ace of Pentacles coming out. Maybe there's something new coming in. Five of Pentacles, though. So. Mm, two fives out here all right maybe you guys are no longer speaking to someone we also have the six of pentacles maybe there's the opportunity to bring balance in a situation let's see ace of cups oh five of swords reverse okay okay i like that it's reverse the magician six of wands oh this looks kind of positive to be honest oh there's death in the wheel of fortune coming out that you know it's meant to show up it definitely will and it just did okay so here's the thing some of you have recently gone through some sort of ending or break this is the first scenario and then we'll we'll break it down and see if there's other ways we can view this but the first thing that came to mind the way that i'm reading this like right off the bat is like some of you have recently gone through a heartbreak a break a separation where you and another person are no longer speaking you feel very upset by it very hurt and just in your feelings you know you're really focusing on just being alone and um allowing yourself to feel but you're not really like expressing it to anybody else like on the surface you might be calm cool collected poker face i'm fine i don't care fuck them i don't need them <laughs> like you know trying to act tough and cool and strong but like here's the thing with this nine of ones it literally says little affirmation says i'm as strong for as long as i need to be strong you can't always be strong all the time it's okay to not be okay it's okay to be sad by these things it's okay to be hurt be heartbroken um and some of you are really much like in your head maybe this is some ending that happened like a long time ago and you're still not over it and you're like why am i not over it like why am i still upset by this oh my god it's because you're not allowing yourself to feel your feelings i said this in a few readings oh many readings for you guys but i know i said this like maybe a few months ago for you guys you need a in order to heal you have to feel i know i fucking said that to you guys a couple times and it's coming out again and you're like why am i not over this because you have to feel baby you have to feel your emotions if you don't feel them you're just suppressing it you're locking it away for another time right and another time that could be tomorrow that could be a week from now that could be a month from now but one day you're gonna get triggered and it's all gonna come out exploding um, you know, there's only so much pressure a bottle can hold before it explodes. Uh, you know, think about a volcano, right? <laughs> it's gonna explode. But so there's this need of like a release. There's this need of like an emotional release. Some of you have really built up these emotions, these feelings for a long time, and it's just like you need to just like like shake it out, feel it instead of suppressing it pushing it away ignoring it hoping it'll just disappear it's not it's not until you face it dead in the face so 
whatever that is we'll do a little clarifying don't you worry we'll get some insight um you know for some maybe it has nothing to do with a person or a relationship it just has to do with your own personal issues right and again there's still this energy of like fear of vulnerability or having your defenses up trying to come off strong unbothered like you don't care but deep down you you got that heart and your heart is hurt and your heart's feeling a little bit blue but you won't stay blue forever i promise um then we have the higher than the ace of pentacles here so i will say like these experiences or this this sadness that you're going through this heavy period it is teaching you a lot or there is some sort of lesson that you can gain from this look at the little affirmation i'm ready to love and learn and so this is really teaching you like your capacity of love how much love you can give to yourself how much love you can give to another person and like there's like some sort of opportunity coming through from the situation like maybe you don't see it right now but something positive is going to come out of this that will lead to something that's going to be really beautiful really amazing and even like a new opportunity in love right we do have the ace of cups ace of pentacles so maybe this is something brand new but i'm also picking up on an energy of like if you're not talking to someone right now we're gonna see of course like again not trying to jump to any conclusions but we'll get some more detail and we'll see what what the message is here we have the five of pentacles but then we go from the five to the six so it's like there could be the opportunity of like getting out no hold on hold on what was under the five of swords reverse right i forgot about that because i was like wait a second i'm missing something here five of swords reverse this sometimes can talk about resolution healing forgiveness apologies for some so you could be receiving an apology from whoever has you feeling upset or maybe had hurt you um so there could be the possibility to rebuild something or for forgiveness and moving forward and we did have death and the wheel of fortune and even the eight of pentacles okay and underneath eight of pentacles four of four of swords if i can talk which talks about healing so i see that healing is definitely taking place here um so that's positive so for some there is the opportunity um to heal the situation and it looks like it would be very successful here with the magician in six of wands i see victory i see that like whatever it is that you're desiring whatever outcome that you're hoping for i see it's very probable that it's like in your favor and it's very possible that it can come to fruition but again like if this is involving another person it has to be mutual it cannot be one-sided both individuals are going to want to make this work it cannot at any any place any i just it cannot be unrequited it has to be mutual but i do see that it is with the six of pentacles here that it would be balanced i give and receive for the universal good so we'll, we'll hold on to that so another way that i'm seeing this um for some is like you're really just focusing on you know getting your stability back there i see like there's an opportunity regarding your finances too if you've been struggling um financially maybe money's been slow or you've been having to save a lot or you've been like you know <laughs> like scraping along trying to pay your bills and car insurance and all these other things right i do see that there's an opportunity to bring you out of this energy of like struggle or like money being tight there's the opportunity right five plus the one equals the six right so i do see um unrelated to any of the other stuff that we're talking about i do see like there's an improvement in your finances which is awesome um so that's really positive i see that's really good so that's great you're learning a lot as well and you're growing a lot as well another thing i'm getting is like as you're getting through this kind of sadness heavy period there's an opportunity for some sort of new relationship and that could also be bringing healing as well and helping you open up right so it really just depends on what it is that you want if you want to work things out with a person great if you want to leave that person in the past and start fresh with a clean slate you got it like literally whatever it is that you um are wanting is possible now of course that's on like in your terms if you're wanting to reconcile with a person it has to be mutual they're gonna have to want to reconcile with you as well but i see that it's possible if it's mutual 100 percent, right i see that 100 percent. so that's great and i see very victorious whatever it is that you're trying to bring in virgo i want to call you taurus but i just did taurus's reading um whatever it is that you're trying to bring in i do see that it's going to be successful and to keep a positive mind keep an open mind as well and let things unfold with naturally but i do see that there's healing taking place and it feels really positive 
So whether this is just healing within just like you and your own personal bubble and you guys getting clarity and peace of mind, or this could be within some sort of relationship of some sort, friendship, romantic, family, whatever, you fit the shoe, however it fits for you, okay? But I do see that some sort of situation is transforming here, but it feels really positive. So I like that a lot. Um, it's about letting go, embracing new beginnings, and voila <laughs> so what we're gonna do we're gonna clarify a bit get some more details because we got plenty of time and yeah so we use the mermaid deck let's see what should i look into first let's see what this five of cups is about like see like why are you in this heaviness well, i will move forward when the time is right and wasn't in your last reading that song blue ain't your color i swear was that in your reading that i was like i'm thinking about that song by keith urban and like literally when this card came out i thought about that song but i was like was that virgo's reading or was that someone else's but it might have been yours so i'm gonna mention it anyways even if it was a different song or a different <laughs> different sign that i read for and that song came through it's coming through again so blue ain't your color <laughs> That song's catchy, not gonna lie. All right, tell me about the Five of Cups for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in December 2021. Why is Virgo in their field? What are they sad about? That's, that was me, so I'm not gonna take it. Tell me about the Five of Cups for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in December 2021. What's Virgo upset about? What's going on here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in December the five of cups for virgo somewhere nice oh whoa okay where did that go give me a second i might bump my tripod Ooh. okay we have the empress reverse so you're sad about a situation that maybe didn't grow into anything or like let's just get some more clarity but something like something hasn't grown and you may have planted a seed and it didn't sprout and you're like damn like oh, i really hope that like damn and maybe it's my fault maybe like you know really overthinking that too um, this is Libra energy as well as Taurus. Tell me about the Five of Cups for Virgo. Ten of Swords reversed coming out. So there was some sort of ending. And you, you just, a, situa a situation didn't go the way you hoped for. And, like, it's over and done with. But I just want to make sure my deck isn't upside down. Nope, just making sure. Okay, because sometimes that happens, you know, mistakes happen. Tell me about the Five of Cups for Virgo. Summer Rising Venus in December 2021 page of swords so there's like a new perspective of your understanding or seeing a situation this situation that had happened in the past that wasn't successful that ain't grown anything or it was like a failed attempt or whatever you're you're looking at things from a different perspective you're getting some sort of clarity um but it's something about this situation still makes you feel sad or there's still like you know you feel a bit blue feeling a bit blue talking about the five of cups for virgo summarizing venus in december that didn't come out for a reason so okay okay there we go queen of wands see this is something that you're wanting to pour energy into but you're not quite sure is it even possible um let's just get a couple more to get more like understanding Tell me about the five of cups for virgo okay seven of swords reversed and one more oh eight of pentacles there's a situation that you're wanting to work on oh i love it we have the sun at the bottom oh what is this the Queen of Pentacles, the Star, the Devil, though, the Chariot. Oh my God, there's a lot of Major Arcana. Okay. So, let me get this straight. <laughs> let me get this straight. Let me try to get all my, my thoughts in order. There's a lot of different things I'm picking up on here. Because there is this energy of, like, returning to the past. Or, look, the Seven of Swords reverse. And so, keep in mind, and I've said this now for a few signs in these December readings, we got... Venus retrograde, and it's retrograding in Capricorn. Now it is highlighting relationships of all kinds, friendship, business, romantic, all of the above, but relationships, all types of relationships in life. And here we go. Um, there is this energy of wanting to put effort into... Um, Oh yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Fuck, I forgot to hold that too. <laughs> so many cards, you guys. There's this energy of like wanting to work or like fix things or like rebuilding some sort of foundation and this could be involving with multiple people oh look at this little frog look at this little frog it's so cute he's like carrying like these little blueberries <laughs> anyways um so what has you sad in december or like feeling a bit blue or a bit in your head uh is that you're looking back at some sort of relationship in your life that you know maybe didn't end on the best terms 
and you're looking at it with a different perspective and the way you perceive you know the whole situation yourself and the people involved your perspective has changed a whole lot like you've grown a lot as a person and as you're looking at this situation you're kind of like i kind of want to return to this or try to work on things or, or you're there's this energy of wondering like could this be repaired could there be the potential to like work on this or rebuild something with the lessons that i've learned from the past and growing from it and working on myself could there be like the potential to fix this uh, that's what i'm feeling here but you're in your head eight of swords like you're not right there's a lot of doubt that you have or you're like second guessing yourself but yeah the bottom see the sun the queen of pentacles the star there's this wish there's this hope that like, maybe 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 right but then we have the devil so there's like i kind of feel like the devil's almost yourself this eight of swords the self like imposed limitations restrictions um that's preventing you from taking off like when we look at the devil to the chariot it's like if you could without these fears you would just go for it you'd say fuck it what do i have to lose but there's like something that's restricting you or there's something that's holding you back from taking the leap um towards some sort of wish or hope or desire right you really really want to but there's something that's like has you hesitant to so let's take a look into the eight of swords and see like what that could be oh <laughs> what the hell uh five of cups reverse okay so that's you guys coming out of this heavy emotional energy but now you're in your head so now you're in your head all right <laughs> the card fucking flew all right tell me about the what is this again eight of swords i i almost saw like two of swords for some reason a choice right i literally forgot what the card i was clarifying <laughs> oh my god oh where is my mind all right tell me about the eight of swords for virgo summer rising venus in December 2021. Why is Virgo in their head about this situation? How about the Eight of Swords for Virgo? Two of Swords. See? Oh my god! I literally said the Two of Swords. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's so fucking funny. I love when that happens. Thanks, Spirit. Oh my god. Thanks. Shout out to y'all. Y'all really heard me. I really got the message because I almost saw, I just seen like the first two swords right here. Oh, I don't think you can see it. It was like this on my table the five of cups is just like this and all i seen was just the two at the top and i was like two of swords because <laughs> i couldn't read the eight of swords because my light was on top of it so i was like two of swords but then i was like no that's not the two of swords but the two fucking came out okay we get it we get it Jaden. we get it that's my name all right temperance coming out eight of swords for virgo knight of swords reverse see there's again there's this energy of like holding yourself back holding yourself back um all right and we got the ten of pentacles i almost feel like your ancestors are whispering do it do it do it you know you might be getting like confirmation or seeing like synchronicities um i always see like synchronicities angels numbers as like a thumbs up from the universe or like thumbs up from your higher self your future self being like yes do it you're on the right track i always see that as like your thumbs up <laughs> so you know pay attention to the signs but i do see like there's this energy of like okay i'm healing i'm not so sad about a situation anymore maybe i should see where this goes maybe i should reach out maybe i should like you know extend but oh but maybe i shouldn't maybe not mm, i want to bring balance but i'm holding myself back um and it's about some sort of foundation or maybe this has to do with family or someone you consider as like close like family um what was at the bottom did i check that i don't even know if i did four of cups some of you are afraid of rejection or just being turned down justice reverse backside and death yeah two of wands three of swords reverse yeah some of you are like fearful that it would just like you'd be rejected and you'd feel really just disappointed and hurt and then you would have to go through this whole cycle of healing and moving on and letting go again and you don't want to go through that but at the same time like there's this urge or there's this feeling ah. anyways um okay let's take a look at this um ace of pentacles see what this opportunity is for the ace of pentacles for virgo summer in ising in december we'll probably look into some of those we'll see we'll see time at the ace of pentacles for virgo summer nights of venus in december 2021 by the ace of pentacles for virgo okay what do we got here sun reversed okay and three of swords reversed 
Hangman, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Two of Cups, Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords Reverse. See, there is this return. Underneath the Six of Swords, not Eight of Wands, communication. So there is this energy of like returning to the past, but there's some like burdens or like there's an elephant in the room that needs to be addressed. So before anything new can start, what I'm seeing here is like before we got the stagnant energy with the hangman, there's also the need to look at something from a different perspective before anything can take off. Like before we have anything new with this page of wands, ace of wands, something brand new, lots of fun, lots of passion, lots of like excitement and fire and fun, right? There's something that needs to be addressed here. There's an elephant in the room. Three of swords reversed with the sun reversed. And there's the opportunity here with the ace of pentacles to discuss, to bring this to light. And keep in mind, right? We have all this eclipse energy in Gemini Sag. It is illuminating a lot, illuminating feelings. Everything's being brought to the surface. Everything's being brought to the table to address so that you can move on. And it's bringing healing, but it is bringing up some things that aren't the best or that, you know, they don't make you the happiest. But I do see if this is addressed and you can look at it from another perspective, right? You are going to gain something from this. And then something new here is beginning here. I said here twice. Oh my God. Ace of Wands with the Page of Wands. Page of Wands can be a message of like good news or like it's really positive energy. It feels very like inspiring and like, oh, like I'm so glad I did that. Like this feels really good. All right. So we go from the five to the six. So I feel like whatever this opportunity is, I do think it would bring a lot of peace and harmony but it does address a bunch of like this, this yuckiness, but it's good. It's getting rid of any of that residue. It's like cleaning up any, um, any dust, any dirt from the past. I do want to look into the five of swords reversed real quick. And maybe take a look into the six of wands. We'll see what, how we are on time. We'll look into this quickly. We have the five of swords reversed for Virgo, somewhere next to Venus. Oh, there's a card flipped in here. Four of Wands. Okay, I'll keep that, I guess. That may have been for this Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to actually put that there. It may have been for the Ace of Pentacles. So there's this opportunity. Okay, okay, let me hold that shuffle in. So whatever's starting here or the opportunity that could be started is that I do see that there could be a lot of stability and peace and harmony. Look, the moon is a full moon, my dudes. A cycle um, reaching a completion as well as illumination. The Four of Wands does talk about celebration and taking a time out to rest and regather your strength and taking a break, right? But it just feels very peaceful. Again, like what I was just saying, but let me move on from this, okay? Because we're gonna run out of time. All right, time at the Five of Swords reverse for Virgo, summarizing Venus. I feel like, you know, clearing the air or something like that, but let's see. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse for Virgo. Oh, look here. Page of Pentacles, right? There's that opportunity, and it feels really positive. Notice that there's like a, a rainbow, and even, again, these little fairies saying like, do it, do it, you know? <laughs> I don't know what this is, but do it, like... All right, time with the Five of Swords. We also have the High Priestess. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Trust your instincts. Trust it. All right? Even if, like, um, someone comes through with a message. Oh, look at here. Three of Cups and the Fool. I'm getting reunion energy from this. This is literally, like, starting over. Um, and it's, like, with multiple people involved. Or it's, like, at least two or more people starting over. Right? Again, like... I feel like there is something being renewed here. Let's just get one more for the Five of Swords first. For Virgo in December. These cards aren't trying to come out. Tell me the Five of Swords first for Virgo. Okay, we got two. We got another two. We got a lot of cards to talk about. Three of Wands and the Star. See, this all goes back to that wish that started up with that Five of Cups. You're like, you're holding yourself back with that Devil and the Eight of Swords. You're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I, maybe I, this is a mistake. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe, oh, you know, holding yourself back. I don't want to get rejected. I don't want to get hurt again. But what I'm seeing is this works out in your favor, right? Maybe think about it some more. Sit, think, and contemplate. You're kind of looking at like some itty bitty details, reevaluating like what, how would I do this? <laughs> um, what do I have to say? Or like, what is it that I'm trying to manifest here, right? With that magician. 
but I feel like something here is being renewed and you're really just all that matters the most is that you listen to your intuition and follow what your instinct is telling you to do if you're feeling in your gut this feels right give it a chance better to say oh well and it doesn't work out in your favor than wonder like what if right I'm just saying so that's my two cents <laughs> that's my two cents but I feel like it's very much supported and would bring a lot of happiness and like good times and celebration and just being like just feeling really good really positive or this would bring a lot of positive um times in the future but it requires you to step outside of your comfort zone and maybe it scares the shit out of you <laughs> but I see like you know you can't grow in your comfort zone when you step out of your comfort zone you're going to be rewarded heavily it's going to be so like you're going to be so glad that you did this so if you want it if this this dream this hope this wish you want it bad enough you'll do it and it may be scary it may be uncomfortable but you're going to look back at this and be like thank god i did it <laughs> and okay i'm not gonna look into any other cards but it does feel like this is very very successful okay that is amazing i love that for you wish you guys all the best december feels like very positive brings a lot of healing lots of peace um let me grab a couple animal oracle messages and a fairy message and we'll end this reading um, any animal oracle messages for Virgo summarizing Venus in December 2021? Any animal oracle messages for Virgo? Any animal oracle messages for Virgo summarizing Venus in December 2021? Oh, okay. What do we got here? The panther. Ooh, okay. So there's some things, there's some um, feelings, emotions, situations here definitely need to be addressed. There is a little bit of like this feistiness that you're in or you might be feeling a bit more like, I'm not going to take that stack because I'm, like, I'm kind of, I'm talking a bit distracted, but there is like a bit of like the sharpness or feeling more moody. Um, just be mindful of like how you communicate to others. I don't know. I need to hold on, you guys. This deck feels like really sticky. Feels really sticky, and I need to focus. So I'm talking. I need to focus. Messages for Virgo in December, 2021. All right. Messages for Virgo, summarizing Venus in December, 2021. This one. See, you've done a lot of reflection. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. The Phoenix and Golden Egg. Okay, two spirit energies coming through. We have your root being highlighted here with Phoenix and the Golden Egg represents your heart space. Okay, this is really beautiful energy. So we have the Panther and the Phoenix. I feel like these two cards talk about like this big need to like release some built up emotion and thoughts and feelings and just like let it all out. Let it all out so you can transform your past and move forward with a clean slate. That's really the energy I'm feeling from the Panther and the Phoenix. It's just like, it's about just like full release, like letting go of all the things that didn't work and acceptance and releasing of any restrictions, any limitations, any fears, doubts, or anger, or hurt, or sad, like just letting it go. And if that requires you having to address it or talk about it or whatever it is that you got to do, do it. It's going to set you free. Spirit's coming out twice, okay? There's a lot of like divine like, confirmation like yes like thumbs up like here you go confirmation then we have the the swan and the golden egg which these are more like a like a reflective healing introspective energy okay so the swan this does talk about the need to go um inward or you may need to spend some time alone you might be feeling again i said this you might be feeling a lot more moodier a lot more sharper a lot more edgier a little bit uh irritated or highly annoyed for no reason people are just getting on your nerves you're like oh my god leave me alone like just, just stop talking to me leave me alone the phone on do not disturb right uh there's this energy if you're feeling that way anytime it could be now it could be way down in december but just when you're feeling that energy you need some time out you just need a fucking time to yourself be alone seriously and like get involved in some sort of creative project or something where you can channel this frustration into okay 
and the golden egg there is some sort of question that's on your mind or that you know the question of should i take this chance should i shoot my shot should i see where this goes right that is a question you're gonna have to ask yourself sit think and contemplate and the answer does sit within you you know deep down what you need to do what's the best for you so follow your instinct follow your intuition it'll do you right i promise okay um the golden egg also does talk about something that's been in the growth or something that's been developing so make sure you keep this egg warm it's still growing it's still developing it's not quite ready to be hatched just yet but when the timing's right you'll know okay let me grab a fairy message and wrap this up any fairy messages for virgo oh that that was me i'm not gonna take it but if it's meant to it'll come out again any fairy messages for Virgo, Summer Nights and Venus in December 2021. Any fairy messages for Virgo, Summer Nights and Venus in December. Okay. That, okay, what do we got? The Singer of Chalice. That was the one, oh my god, did I not shuffle it that much or what? Okay, this card did fall out, and I was like, okay, if it's meant to, it'll come out again. The Singer of Chalice, number 12. Let me get one more, just for the sake. Any other fairy messages for Virgo? Summarizing Venus in December. Okay, and... Unity, number one. Oh, wow, that really talks about, like, divine connection. Connection to all, and how every single thing is connected. Um, Alright, so, I'm gonna read Unity from the book, because I just feel like... It describes it really well and like I don't want to like butcher the meaning of the card or like wash it down so when this card comes up in a reading it's asking us to remember the mystical concept that we're all one unified in a holistic universe it reminds us to look at the needs and goals we have in common with others and to seek cooperation and community rather than attempting to do everything on our own to achieve our goals we need the active cooperation of others and to get that cooperation we must be helpful to them and willing to work with their ideas as well as our own. It suggests that we think things in terms of equal partnerships rather than in linear or hierarchy authority. Unity also tells us that we have much to gain by remembering our own wholeness. Resolution of inner conflict is often necessary before we move ahead. It's important that at this time we work towards cooperation and reconciliation <laughs> with and without, within and without. Seek the highest good of all involved and not merely your idea of highest good. Ask for the divine energy of unity to permeate and guide you. Oh, wow. Okay, and um, the singer of Chalice, just because, again, this talks about, like, you know, your the energy that you give to others, the love that you give to others. Um, it's a very loving, healing... It's kind of like letting your cup overflow, but I, I want to just, you know, I don't want to water this card down. This talks about trust joy patience creativity hope and miracles okay um with the help of the singer of chalice and the other fairies you too can get that one feeling that is all good feelings in one unconditional love trust hope healing patience and so on open is open be open if you don't know how to ask it's right there so this talks about like about the need for you guys to remain more open oh and that's what the golden egg also talks about like opening up your heart not being so afraid to share your vulnerability which is what we were saying at the beginning of the reading like the fear of like opening up to get hurt or to be rejected or to like you know not being good enough or you know really like um challenging yourself to be more open and receptive to giving and receiving unconditional love you know this is a very healing energy and we've had that kind of come out throughout this entire spread and to have hope and to have trust it's wow like that's just like beautiful messages coming through for you guys in this reading i don't really have much to add to these cards just because i feel like i talked a lot <laughs> i feel like this just like summarizes the reading quite well so virgo that's where we're gonna leave it if you guys found this helpful or insightful please let me know in the comments below be sure to leave a like comment subscribe if you guys are interested you can follow me over on my instagram and tiktok at jade stone tarot and i'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one take care